Alright, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're gonna be making like an emotional drill type beat for like Chef G, Sleepy Hollow, Central C, something like that. So I'll play the loop, the first part of it, and then get into making it. So that's the main part of the loop. Shout out Radiant for that. It's crazy. So let's get into it. Um, so first I'm just going to start with the snare. Simple. And for these, it's a good idea to use it like a clap. It just, for some reason, it sounds better, more mainstream. So I'm going to take two. We're not layering them, but just put them on the... Make sure the velocity is all the way up too. And then this one we're just going to put on the second one. So this, I think I'm going to go more counter snares than hats, but who knows. Yeah, so I like this one right here. Let's probably go good with it. So just work out the pattern. And you can hear it in your head a lot of times. Just go with the bounce, go with what you hear. So for this, because this loop has a lot of notes going on, um, and because this is more like an emotional one, they're probably going to be like more like, like the singing kind of style on it. So you want to leave some space. So I'm going to space out the hi-hats more than normal. We'll just make it a little bit different on this side. Take that out and then so let's do something like that. And let's see how that sounds. Yeah, I like that. So next, I'm gonna add this one in on like spots that I just feel need like either something to fill in or like I want to emphasize them. So This one, I'm just gonna put this right here. Actually, I'm 
switch the sound, I think. Try this one. Yeah, I like that. Blends in a little bit more. Um, so for now, I'm going to leave that because I don't want to add in too many rolls or anything, at least yet. And I may switch the sounds up, but I like it so far. So let's add in an 808. So for the 808, um, you'll hear something like this where it's like you can just look at the waveform, how, it's, you know, how it is. You'll see a bunch of 808s like this are perfect for this. They're more like a um, good acoustic bass, so these these work really good. I may switch it. The other one is the the, the dinger one. I may switch to that if I'm if I'm not feeling this. So this is in B minor, so but I'll go up to hear it anyway. keep it very simple maybe I'll add in some slides later but for now this is actually what we're gonna keep and then I'll probably throw something in that and that actually I'll probably do something like that and that's probably all we need almost actually I'll throw in two slides almost perfect I think the one thing I am going to do is I'm going to shorten these sides so you can add all into it and like that so they just slide quicker it's almost like just playing the note directly I'm going to try this one I mean, I just, I'm probably just going to end up going with the that little one, but we try to switch it up sometimes. if I should keep it or not because I just know this is going to sound good. Now, why, don't, why don't I try it? We'll keep it for now. We'll keep it for now. And so now really all I need is need the classic shop perk. But I have this new one like, that's the normal. So I think I'm going to try this one. Shout out Outlaw for this. It's different. Just different. And so with these, I just like to make them so they don't go past here. And I usually just do this pattern on almost everything. And sometimes I put the lay on it. Sometimes I don't. I might for this one, but we'll see. And so I think I'm actually going to change the eight away. 
This is the one I'm talking about here. I think what this is, it. I don't know why it's always the time stretched. I guess to see anyway. Yep. So I'm gonna go in this one, he's right here. I'm gonna slide right on the kick. You can go a little, and some more here. simple and so the only thing I'm just gonna look for a couple of perks to use see if they'll fit I'll probably make it too complicated So I don't think we need to add much more because we can all do that with variation to certain patterns and stuff. So master, I was create this, but it's super simple. You just have EQ looks like this. Normal soft core, I don't even do anything to it. Immediately hits way harder. And for melodies, um, I cut out the lows. I leave room for the 808 and then I'm probably gonna add some reverb on this you don't need some crazy reverb you can use a stock This is pretty good this level here even though so like i like to have it at 12. this is just the vocal so that part yeah it's a little over but other than that it's really fine
use the mixer presets because it's faster. The main one that's going throughout this thing, if it's not going back and forth between the ears, you should have two on the side and the one down the center. You want to keep it as even as you can so it's not over top on one, one side. But this one I don't have to because it's, it's way in the left ear already. I'm going for around 12, um, but it's gonna it's gonna go over because it's in a certain ear, so it's not gonna show up perfect. So really going off the of sound almost. So for this, I'm actually going to go into the pan and I'm just going to do it like that much. So I think it's basically it's just a little plan, so I think I might not this much, but like the type of 75 here I'll go to 50 usually works pretty good I don't have to go That's really it. Um, I'm actually just structuring it. So for the loop, I'll just do it really, really quick. For the loop, it's like I drag all the parts off from each other. And so this part has a bass, but you can't hear it, so you can get rid of it. So we EQ that out. If you wanted that in there, you could do that, but I don't really want it. And I like to split by channel, it's just easier for me. So I'm going to want that about there. So basically for this, I'm going to make unique and pitch down an octave.
and then I just want to change it up. I felt it was a little dry. Very simple. And then, so right here, I'm just not adding in this Caesar, you know, FX, just because I want to switch it up. And here, I'm not even having these two counter snares in there because I want to keep it simple right when it comes in. Because this is all new, then you need something new to keep them hooked for the next part. And then you need another thing new which is going to be the melody and that so and you can keep going with this formula especially with loops like this how they it's got the simple guitar that has this part with vocals in it and the string like the stringy part behind it you can kind of mix it up like this and so i can go like this pull in these two go like this Pull in these two, and I'd actually put a break in it. Go like, could go like that, and then you put that there. And so I'd switch up these 808 patterns, but for this, I'm not going to. It's pretty simple. I want to keep it under 25 minutes, so we're not going to do that, but it's super simple to do and you don't have to go crazy because I know this isn't necessary I would never hear Chef G on this I could but like this style is what I'm going for here and you can definitely his beats are super simple if you listen to Central C it is definitely more like this but there's, there's still not this crazy crazy thing they're still crazy good it's because they're simple so Yeah, that's that's really it. And if I was finishing this, I'd add in effects and I'd switch up the kick 808 pattern. Sometimes I'll switch up the hi hats, but really, there's not much else. Um, just little things, but yeah. And mixing a lot of this stuff is really just because it sounds better. But you really don't need it. Like people have so much stuff on their 808s. It's ridiculous I have this which is just to spice it up a little bit and it's not that much I don't have it wide like that because it doesn't need it and I have a limiter just to do side chaining with the kick is just getting rid of these because I didn't want it to clip like crazy the snare yeah this has quite a bit but it's very simple stuff if you actually look at it like this is just to get a little bit louder. This is to cut out all those bass frequencies that are just drowning the mix. They're really not necessary. If I'm being honest, I don't really need them. And then the hi-hat counter snare, whatever. This just is stuff to make it sound a little better. Yeah, you have to add delay on it. That's almost unnecessary for drill. Um, and then you pan it. But I only got one thing pan, basically two things pan. I got this, it doesn't even have delay on it, and the Caesar FX doesn't have anything on it. It's super simple, and it's fire, so see you guys soon.